Hello my fellow Aldi addict, it's Jackie. It's another Monday and I'm back at Aldi. I'm trying to supplement my pantry and freezer again this week. We still just have so much food that I'm trying to work through to avoid waste, to lessen the bill a little bit. So let's get into the store, see what I'm getting, and don't forget at the end, I'll share with you my meal plan. Someone mentioned you can buy these in bulk. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hmm, okay. I thought that it was gonna be a giant bag, but they're individually packed, so it's not a better price. They're $3.33 per ounce. This is less, still really expensive, but I'm gonna get the single bag. If I ever start buying these, you guys know I, I won the lottery. Elsie didn't ask me to get these, but she says she buys Rice Krispies at their treat line at the school lunch sometimes, so I'm gonna just send her with these the rest of the week and see if she likes them, $2.49. How do I miss out on Loft House cookies for 39 cents? Where's my luck? I would have loved that. Okay, if the spring Loft House cookies were on sale for 39 cents, why are the St. Patrick's Day ones not? These are so good. I bought them in the past. I'm not gonna buy them because I'm literally the only one in my family that will eat them and I don't want to eat, you know, a pound of carrot cake cookies, but they're so good. $4.79. I'm gonna get garlic mats to go with the ziti, $2.89. Also gonna get a baguette, $1.59. The drunken noodles, I had to get most of our ingredients at the Asian market, but I needed a red pepper, so I'm gonna get these, $2.49. The strawberries look so good this week. I'm gonna get two pounds, they're $2.69 a piece. I'm going to get a cantaloupe to cut up to go with our meals. It's $1.99. We just keep eating salad, so I'm gonna keep up on that, $2.89. The easiest addition to lunches, my kids all like them. Easy to cut, easy to keep, fresh, $1.89. I'm getting two dozen eggs. I am preparing my dog's food and we need more eggs at hand, so I use a dozen for her food. Two oh five a piece. I don't know if anyone else in my family will like these, but I will, and I'm getting them for myself. A dollar ninety five. Part of me hopes they don't want to share. Oh, and they have these flavored popcorn, dill pickle, which I love. The other dill pickle popcorn, but cheddar jalapeno, dollar ninety nine for both of those. This wasn't on my list, but we have hot dogs left over from this week, and we're gonna have it with white mac and cheese, but I'd rather have beans, and I think my girls would like these. It's bold and spicy, $1.89. They look yummy. I'm out of potatoes. We use a lot of potatoes, $3.99 for 10 pounds. Aldi has heard my sniffles and my tears. Here are my beads, $1.19. I love these so much. I need to get three cans of black beans, 81 cents a piece. And then I'm also going to get um, three cans of pineapple slices for $1.25. My older daughter has been just devouring these. Elsie is switching things up and wants pita chips in her lunch with hummus, $2.79 for these. This is such a good deal, $1.19 for a little nanopod figurine. I'm gonna get that for my son. I don't know when I'll give it to him, but I'll just save it for a little prize sometime. Love clearance finds. There's lots of recycled and green type food storage items. Um, reusable straws, reusable bags, recycled food storage in different shapes, nonstick pans, stainless steel water bottles, makeup remover pads, and those are reusable. Lots of different boots down here, they're $9.99. Lots of fun things here. Different joggers for ladies. Oh, they're made with sustainable material, it looks like. Cute bras, underwear, gardening gloves, lots of gardening items. A blower, a weed trimmer. All the gardening things are out and about and it's pretty stacked here at my Aldi. 
This is cool, a bee house. A couple different varieties, $8.99. We have an umbrella base, it's only $9.99. And then we do actually have umbrellas over here as well. Those are $39.99. Landscaping fabric, $4.99. Garden tools, the long handles, $9.99. I think these are really cute. They're only $8.99 canvas sneakers. They have different prints, but I think those are adorable. Speaking of Aldi shoes, I'm actually wearing my Aldi Crocs from years ago. My daughter uses a CeraVe foaming face wash, and I was hoping that they have something similar here, but they don't. So, not, not an exfoliating scrub, but like more of a daily use thing. And they don't have any, unfortunately. I am running low on rice, so I'm going to get that. $5.89, my favorite, five pounds of jasmine rice. I've wanted to get a good burger seasoning. They have Chicago steak. This amazing burger seasoning looks good, $2.99. They also have hot honey here. It's $5.69 for 12 ounces. I'm not gonna get any. We have some hot honey at home, but I love it. I do need butter. We're making some cookies and just regular baking, like making mashed potatoes and stuff, $3.69. Flour. I'm making Reese's peanut butter crumble cat cookies this weekend. Well, either me or my daughter were taking them to my in-laws. They're having dinner over there. And we're bringing cookies. Bulking up the bins of the flour and sugar, 309. We're also low on powdered sugar, 215. My seven-year-old son asked me to make white mac and cheese for dinner, so we're gonna have that with some Hot dogs that I grilled this weekend, $1.29 for this, each box. Now I am tempted, this one looks good to me, but I feel like if I got this, my son would know the difference and would just complain. So I'm gonna leave it and get the one I know he likes, but that looks pretty good to me. I always like when Aldi busts out their ice cream stuff so they have their cones back. Waffle, sugar, jumbo. And then they have their caramel and their hot fudge bag. They have tubs of sprinkles. It just feels summery. It's kind of like when it gets later in fall and you start seeing all the Christmassy items. Just an exciting change. There are a few new desserts that I haven't noticed here before. They have Jello Classic Cheesecake and Chocolate and Classic. And then they also have um, some Betty Crocker Delights. None of those are tempting to me, but I thought they're kind of nice to see. I'm making an instant pot ziggy. I've made it many times. It's a family favorite. I'm gonna get the rigatoni for that, $1.65. And then I'm also gonna get tomato, basil, garlic, pasta sauce, and that's $1.59. I'm making drunken noodles and fried rice this week. And I'm gonna just have the shaved steak that I will make for the side for the meat eaters in my family. This is $5.49. I'm actually gonna get two of them and make um, a double batch for both the dinners. Well, our holiday meats have finally changed. There's big bags of frozen chicken breasts over there. Uh, a couple different flavors, let's see. Garlic and herb. That's $7.49. And then they just have, it looks like it's not flavored, and that's $7.49 as well for 40 ounces. Pretty good value there. Then breast tenders, Cornish hens, turkey breast. Oh, they have spinach and cheese ravioli. That actually sounds pretty good to me. Chicken and cheese. They have uh, beef and broccoli. Food, duck, lots of these things still remain here. All the different pizzas. Oh, they have um, crab cakes. Oh, pigs in a blanket. I couldn't see what they are. So they have those. Those are $3.99. Chopped chicken. Shepherd's pie, garlic parm fries. 
Ooh, they have a lot of different gluten-free things. Let's see, they have different English muffins, raisin English muffins, vegetable, um, like egg rolls. But lots of different things here if you're gluten-free. They have a pizza dough. They have Klein Lake bars, not a very good price. Um, and they don't have the different flavors, but Outshine, no sugar added popsicles. They have fruit bars over there, made with real fruit and oat milk. I need mods for my ZD, 369. Okay, we even came back later last week and they had more of the Atomic Pickles. They don't have them right now, so I'm gonna get the regular dill pickle chips. Um, and hopefully we can get Atomic Pickles next time, 419. I was confused, I walked right by this. They moved kind of our chicken salads and hummus around. I'm getting this for Elsie's lunch, $2.49. And they have so many yummy dips. Obviously, I love this. The tzatziki, spinach parmesan is always so yummy. But they have jalapeno artichoke. They have a lot of different, like, hatch green chili cheddar dip. Yum. Parmesan asiago garlic. Their vegetable dips are so good. Cauliflower dip. And then all those watery look at in all of these. I'm a dip lover. I need a thing of broccoli. And it's a dollar nine. I also need two things of green beans for my dog, 96 cents. And then the green beans for my family, 2.29. I'm getting a thing of mixed vegetables for when I make stir fry, 95 cents. I'm getting a thing of whipped topping. It's 99 cents. My kids have loved this, these chips, so I'm gonna grab another bag before they're gone. 219. I have seen so many pictures of people looking adorable in this chambray dress. It's only 14.99. It's a size small. I do think that's what I'd wear. I'm just not stylish, so I don't know that I could style it well. Also, this cracks me up with a 120 pound crazy puppy. That would not take my hips out. I couldn't do it. Oops, these are new Choco Changers. Cocoa Farmers support. So they have milk chocolate with nougat and honeycomb and sea salt, salty fudge and almond, and brownie and salted caramel. Not getting any, but they look interesting. They have luxury Belgian cookie bags. That looks pretty cool. A nice little gift. $7.99. You know, if you have friends over for coffee, that'd be a great addition. They also have um, different flavored pork rinds. My husband loves pork rinds, but I don't think he'd like those flavors, so I'm going to pass. They're only $1.69. Okay, here's all my stuff. Any guess on my total? I'm going to guess $98.14. Okay, my total was $104.51. Now I'm going to stop at Meyer and then go home and share with you the meal plan. My favorite milk substitute, coconut almond milk, so good. Four twenty-nine. Also needed to get face cleaner, and my poor kids always get the store brand. Okay, this week for dinner tonight is trivia night. Another fundraiser for a kids' school, so we're gonna be there. My girls are babysitting younger kids as part of a fundraiser, and then the parents are meeting at a local restaurant for trivia night. So. Easy dinner, not cooking. Uh, tomorrow night, we are having leftover hot dogs. We had, all my kids had friends over this weekend. I grilled a bunch of hot dogs. We have leftovers and then the white mac and cheese my son requested. And I'm adding the baked beans. And we're going to have salads pretty much any night this week. We're having fried rice and some of that beef. I'm also going to make enough of the beef where we can have, uh, have it with the drunken noodles. We're going to make it on our Blackstone. I'm not exactly sure how I'll cook it. But I know it'll quick. I know it'll cook quick because the black sun's really high heat and it's sliced so thin. Friday night, my in-laws invited us over for dinner. My mother-in-law is making dinner, and we are gonna make some crumble copycat cookies. Saturday, I'm making steak bites. I'm gonna use frozen meat that I have in the freezer, mashed potatoes. We'll have salads with that, and then Sunday. I'm gonna make ziti, and I have chicken parm patties from Aldi from probably a couple months ago now. I'll make those up as well. So this is our week of meals. If I'm using a recipe, I will link it below. A dinner I haven't made in a long time that I'm really looking forward to is drunken noodles. I bought at an Asian restaurant store this weekend, 
Thai basil and Thai chilies. You need both of those, but you can see how a chef makes that dinner right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.